Hey everybody, video number 86. Let's make this one quick, right? We got four more that are going to be epic, maybe. So we'll make this one quick. I've already wasted time. One amazing, cool thing that I love experiencing and I'd like to think life is like. Driving, probably anywhere, but especially in L.A., late night, I'm talking midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., the streets are empty. You are just cruising through empty space wherever you are, whether you're on the highway or just on side roads or main roads. And based on your usual driving throughout the day, when you're bumper to bumper, in traffic, congested, sometimes in crazy gridlock, it's the most liberating and freeing feeling ever. And as I was driving home tonight from a Reiki sound bath and the roads were just super clear, I just thought, huh, this is what I want life to be like. Just this clear path cruising through. The roads are infinite. I have the choice to go as fast or slow as, I, as, or as, fast or as, slow as I want to. No one's in my way. There are no obstacles. And that's the journey that we go on, right? We move from the gridlock, the crazy gridlock, to the major traffic, to some traffic, to scattered cars, to this open space. And I think that we do that with our own inner work, with our self-work, with our journey in life. And things free up. And we feel freer as a person, as a spirit, as a being. So that was kind of cool, connecting with traffic in that sense. Uh, we had a conversation after the Reiki sound bath. We were going deep. And one of the things that we talked about or touched on, I want to share with you, has the idea of our world of consciousness and unconsciousness. There's an amazing book called The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. I highly recommend you read it if you get a chance. I think it can apply to many, many things, uh, one of which is our awakening. Our, um, as human beings, as earthlings, our awakening, our um, shedding of uh, the fog, the curtain, um, the clarity that comes, our consciousness coming into full presence and existence, our awareness uh, rising up from the depths. So this, uh, it's like a, a cheesy novel. No, 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 seriously though. Um, we were just talking about connecting and being on vibrations, high vibrations with different people, same, the same frequency, uh, interacting, connecting, talking about certain things. And I believe that there's probably a pattern of some sort, um, similar to this whole tipping point idea, that all of us are, or at some point in time, I don't know how long ago, thousands, hundreds, I don't know. Beings in existence were conscious. And little by little, maybe one, and then two, and then four, and then eight, and then 16, and then 32, and then 64, and then 128, and then 256, and then 512, and then 1024, and then 2048, and so on and so forth. You know, I'm just good with numbers. Started to, uh, the first person attached, can, I don't know, something happened, and that person became unconscious, which then spread to another person, which then spread to another person. And for whatever reason at this time, the majority of people were conscious still at this high vibration, this high frequency, connected not only with the physical body, the physical vessel, but with the spiritual, with the energetic body that is in existence in this universe. But more and more people became unconscious and just spread and spread and spread. Eventually the tipping point went from consciousness to unconsciousness. And I feel with whatever time zone we're in, time zone, time, whatever time period we're in, we are now shifting back. We've been in a place of unconsciousness for a very long time. And with unconsciousness comes ego, comes violence, war, greed, just a lack of responsibility for taking care of the greater good, selfishness. And now we are working our way back. More and more people are awakening, are enlightening, 
are becoming enlightened and going from dark to light. Not necessarily evil to good, although that is one of the more, um, I feel like, apparent representations, evil versus good, but just asleep and awake. And people are awakening. And as we awaken and we enhance our presence, our consciousness, we go to a higher vibration. We're able to share that with someone else which plants the seed, and then they begin to go on their journey, and so on and so forth. So we're going on our individual journeys, plus there's a whole communal connection going on. And to save ourselves as existing beings, as earthlings, to save our earth, this mother earth, which we have not taken care of during our stay here, we need to awaken into consciousness. And so we're taking that, we're going, we're going from unconsciousness now to consciousness. And so that's really exciting. There's so much more to explore. We talked a little bit about the whole kind of like the Aquarian age coming through the age of Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius. I'm born in January, January 23rd. Do you have my birthday? If you do, connect with me and we'll celebrate together. Uh, things I don't fully know about yet uh, horoscopically and universally. So I'm excited to explore. But anyway, some thoughts for you with video 86. Bye-bye.